Import Bond and Supply Chain Optimization, a guide for beginners. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about import bonds and supply chain optimization. I know, I know, it sounds like a really boring topic. But trust me, it's not as dry as it sounds. In fact, I'm going to make it so interesting that you'll be begging me to tell you more. So without further ado, let's get started. What is an import bond? An import bond is a guarantee that you will pay the customs duties and taxes owed on your imported goods. When you import goods into the United States, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, will require you to post a bond in order to release your goods. The amount of the bond will be based on the value of your goods. The CBP will also require you to provide a surety, which is a company that agrees to pay the bond if you default. Why do I need an import bond? You need an import bond because it's a requirement of the CBP. If you don't post a bond, your goods will be held at the port of entry until you do. There are a few exceptions to this rule. For example, if you're importing goods for personal use, you may not need a bond. However, it's always best to check with the CBP to make sure. How do I get an import bond? You can get an import bond from a surety company. There are a number of surety companies out there, so you'll need to do some research to find one that's right for you. The cost of an import bond will vary depending on the surety company and the amount of the bond. You can expect to pay anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. How do I use an import bond? Once you have an import bond, you can use it to release your goods from the port of entry. To do this, you'll need to present the bond to the CBP along with a customs declaration. The CBP will review the declaration and the bond, and if everything is in order, they will release your goods. Import Bond Optimization Now that you know what an import bond is and how to get one, let's talk about optimizing your import bond. There are a few things you can do to reduce the cost of your import bond. First, you can try to negotiate the bond amount with the surety company. Second, you can try to get a shorter bond term. Third, you can try to get a lower bond rate. Import Bond Negotiation When you're negotiating the bond amount with the surety company, you should be prepared to provide information about your company, the goods you're importing, and your financial history. You should also be prepared to negotiate the bond term. The longer the bond term, the lower the bond rate will be. Import Bond Rate The bond rate is the percentage of the bond amount that you'll pay to the surety company. The bond rate will vary depending on the surety company and the amount of the bond. You can try to get a lower bond rate by shopping around for different surety companies. You can also try to improve your credit score, which will make you a more attractive borrower to surety companies. Supply Chain Optimization Now that we've talked about import bonds, let's talk about supply chain optimization. Supply chain optimization is the process of managing the flow of goods and services from suppliers to customers. The goal of supply chain optimization is to reduce costs, improve efficiency, and increase customer satisfaction. There are a number of ways to optimize your supply chain. Some of the most common methods include collaboration with suppliers. By working closely with your suppliers, you can identify opportunities to reduce costs and improve efficiency. Use of technology. Technology can help you to track shipments, manage inventory, and forecast demand. Improved planning. By having a clear plan for your supply chain, you can avoid disruptions and ensure that your customers are always satisfied. Import bonds and supply chain optimization are two important topics for businesses that import goods. By understanding the basics of import bonds and supply chain optimization, you can improve your business and reduce your costs. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more great content.